With Windows 7 now installed, the next stage is to install all the drivers. You need to look for a disk that came with your motherboard, something like this. Uh, this will include the networking and audio drivers. So to install the drivers, all we have to do is put the disk into the drive and wait for it to pop up on screen. We choose Run Setup. Click on Yes. Click Driver. Click Auto. And click Install. The software should now automatically install all the drivers. Once the drivers have been installed, you just need to click yes to reboot the computer system. After installing those drivers, we can see that the sound and network card drivers are successfully installed, as well as some chipset drivers to make the motherboard work better. Now for the graphics card, I've downloaded the latest ATI drivers off of their website. Even though the graphics card comes with a disc, the latest drivers offer various improvements to gaming performance. So I'm going to install this file which I've moved across using a memory stick. All I need to do is click on install. I'm going to do a, an express installation. Accept the license agreement. Click yes. And then it will just take a matter of minutes to actually install the drivers. Once the installation is finished, you just have to click on the finish button and restart your computer. The video card driver is now installed and the resolution has been automatically set to 1920 by 1080. So, looking at the device manager, all of the major components have now been installed and have been detected by the computer, the graphics card, the sound card and the network card. So everything should be working properly now. The next step is to get this machine on the internet and get it updated as far as it will go. A quick note before I do the Windows updates, I've connected this computer using a USB wireless adapter to the internet and I have just installed Microsoft Security Essentials and I'm doing a quick scan of the computer before we continue. This will protect the computer while it's on the internet. So with the virus scan now complete I'm going to run Windows Update and see how many updates there are to put on. computer will search for updates if you click on check for updates at the top left. 
install the updates that it finds then keep going back to check for updates to see if there's any more to put in once it says there are no more updates to put on you're up to date with the windows updates now installed there's one thing left i need to do before doing some stress testing on this computer the customer has asked that an office package be installed and i have chosen libreoffice an offshoot of openoffice So to install LibreOffice I just need to click next, unpack, wait a moment for it to all uncompress. Once the files are uncompressed the installation starts properly I just need to click next, click next again, do a typical installation, click install wait a few minutes and the software will be ready to go so for my stress test on this computer I've chosen Prime 95 which will stress the CPU and the memory and I've chosen Furmark which will stress the graphics card so I'm going to run these both at the same time over several hours possibly overnight and if the computer's still working at the end I'll be happy with it so we just click OK there and go there and that is it. We'll leave it alone for a while now. OK, I think you should just be able to see that in the uh, top left there. This uh, stress test has been running now for over 16 hours, 16 and a half hours. I'm happy that this computer is ready to go. So that's it. Computer is built, tested ready to go to the customer.